Hello friends, Goblin Season 3 here, and I am doing gonna just showcase my build by doing Good a map. To you, so I'm gonna talk to Xena and I'm gonna buy the unidentified crypt map. So this is a rare map, it has gonna have a bunch of mods, I'm gonna buy it. And I'm just gonna do it. Uh, cause this build is pretty much immune to all map mods except for blood magic. So as long as there's no blood magic on this, I can do this. So we're gonna see exactly what happens, but I'm assuming I should be okay. So, Crypt. We get inside, we see it's 102% more items, so it's got a lot of mods on it. Uh, I have elemental weakness, so that's important, and I didn't have blood magic. And see, I'm autoing guys, and I'm taking damage, so this is in fact a reflect map, so I know that. So, I gotta be careful about the reflect, but other than that, it should be okay. Fight all this stuff. So, I'm not exactly sure what other ma uh, mods are on here. There's spiders. A lot of spiders. And ghosts. But, uh, that's not really that different. And we're going to back out of this room. So, we're going to back up a little bit. Whew. Just back up and get our HP back. I didn't really need to use the Quartz Flask there, but I just like to use the Quartz Flask. Um, if, if I'm ever worried about something and I need to get out of a room, Quartz Flask is just too useful. And this guy's gonna die. Okay, good job. So we're getting double items in this map, so that's good. But yeah, this this build is pretty much immune to map mods um, because I don't have to worry about reflect because of my vault pact and life leech. Um, I don't have to worry about like an enemies that like poison on hit and stuff like that. Um, I, it does suck to have the elemental weakness because my res resistances are not capped. Um, so, I, or, or overcapped, so I am in fact going to take a lot of extra damage from Elemental. In fact, I think it might uh, actually be Elemental um, Elemental Reflect. Actually, no, I think it's uh, physical. Uh, I'm not hitting because I'm desynced. I don't have my macro running. Hold on, I'm going to turn my macro on. There we go, now I can resync myself. Um, the only macro I use is the resyncing macro. I don't use any other macros. Um, Ooh, an orchard map. And purity of elements. That's a, that's a good thing. Uh, good. Turn on our flask. Uh, really important to manage your flask properly. You want to make sure you always have good flask charges up. And we got orbs. But yeah, I'm not exactly sure what the other mods of this map are. Uh, um, all I know is it's, it is some kind of reflect. I am cursed. I'm regenerating mana, I think. Do I regenerate mana? I regenerate mana. So, nothing, none of that. And we're already at the boss, so that's good. Oh god, it hurts. So, oh, see, and by resyncing, I found it. Okay, boss moves twice as fast. So there's one. Let's just run around here for a second, get our, get our HP back, our shield. And the mon these monsters are moving fast as hell. Damn. So absolutely, and I got a rope. Cool. Um, uh, stop being frozen. Absolutely, one of the mods of this map is uh, the boss moved faster and did more damage. So that that was pretty crazy. I got another reef map. And I got a robe. Zandid's cassock. Uh, if anybody watching this video wants that Zandid's cassock, I am in standard league, and you can have it. Oops, I finished a bunch of items I don't want. Yeah, no. If you want this Zandis cassock, it's free. Free to a good home. I, I already have two. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't really want it. So if you're watching this video and you're like, hey, I want that Zandis cassock, pick me up. Uh, my name is GG Midlane Rage Quit. Um, or send me a message on, on YouTube and you can have it. It's 100% free to you, the viewer. That's I People say I don't give back to the to the people that watch me, but I do because I'm, I'm just faking it right now. So yeah, this, this build, ooh, Katarina. Um, and oh, if you didn't know, Katarina points where you have to go, so she pointed this way, so I know I have to go this way. Um, and I have to revive nine corpses. I revive. Um, these things really do a lot of damage with their chaos damage, reflect, or degen. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I didn't see that coming. I did not know that was gonna happen. Uh, 
Um, but they do a lot of damage with the cast damage degen. I'm aiming to cast damage because of chaos inoculation, which is super OP. Because I'm stupid and broken. And I, that's how I roll. Die! I punch you. Keep your armor flask up. And then the, apparently the fire is going to come out. Get out of there! Uh, Alright, so that's pretty good. So, alright, so now we just gotta find the last set. And text messages. Alright, so, yeah, this build's pretty good. Uh, I really, really like it. Um, it it has a few drawbacks, being Chaos Inoculation. You get frozen all the fucking time. Shock isn't so bad, because it just means you take more damage, and taking more damage just means you have to position better and play better. Freezing all the time means you have to have freeze removal flasks. Now you should always have freeze removal flasks, but man, I get frozen all of the time. So I don't even know. Um no, it's not this way. Uh, I I'm just gonna ignore that for now. Oh, ooh, this spider wants to fight me. Hey! Super shred walker. Because I use temp chains as my curse, it's just it's just too useful to watch all this shit attack really slowly. Because I'm pretty much always gonna get frozen. Oh, reflect pack. This this could be really bad. It's physical reflect. Actually, because it's physical reflect, um, that's one of the nice things about being an armor based character. So I'm armor and energy shield. Um, I have I have like a bunch of the Templar notes for the armor and energy shield. Um, when you fight a physical reflect pack, just pop a granite flask and you should be okay. If you really aren't okay, then you can always swap in a life leech gem. Ah, distractions. Go distractions. <laughs> I can't see anything. Alright, kill this guy. And good. I got a portal scroll. And a wisdom scroll. And a wisdom scroll. Oh. And a transmutor. Look at that, a rich. Rich everybody. Just dropping down the exalts. So yeah, this, this, like I said, I like this build. It's really good. It's Herald of Ash. Ooh, I actually really want that, because I've been meaning to test out Herald of Ash as a potential um, factor in this build. Um, because it adds physical damage, and it does overkill as fire, it would give me just straight up more damage. Um, I don't know if I actually want to use it, but we're going to find out. It would just give me like 20% more damage or whatever. And... Oh, okay, I'll come back and get this later. Yeah. If you're still watching this video, um, which I don't know where you are, because obviously I already finished all the things. Oh, cool, it's Flask. <gasps> no, what? Um, oh, I'm a huge advocate of the Quartz Flask. I don't use it very often, but that's because whenever there's a situation where like I start to panic because I'm like, oh god, like I'm surrounded or something, Quartz Flask is just too useful. Literally is too useful. Like it's it's so good, you don't even realize how good it is. Um, let me just and this is a garbage item, garbage item, garbage item, garbage item, garbage item, garbage item. So I got a bunch of garbage items, which sucks, but it's okay because you can sell them for money. Hey, hey Zana, what's up? How's it going? How you, how you doing? Yeah. You want uh, you want uh, items? She's like, yeah, I want the items. I'm like, yeah, no problem. Head over to my stash. I'm like, yeah, I gotta put all this shit away. And boom, 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 bing, bang, zip, zap, zip, zip, bop. And I'm gonna shove this. It's full. There's overflow. Overflow. Here we go. Here we go. That's perfect. And I don't know. I'll just keep all this stuff for now. I'm gonna get that much more loot. Yeah. Map. Um. So this. So this character is really good. There are several, several drawbacks to Chaos Inoculation, so don't just think like, oh, I can just be immune to Chaos damage. The biggest thing you have to worry about with Chaos Inoculation is getting frozen, and also no pots. You don't realize how good pots are until you can't pot anymore. Instant Flasks? I always thought Instant Flasks were dumb. I was like, why well, I just want to regenerate my HP. Like, Instant Flasks are dumb. If I just play better, I don't have to worry about it. Man, when you take, like... Five, like if I take 5,000 damage right now and I'm left with 40 energy shield, anything kills me. But if I can mash my keyboard really, really hard, just like uh, an instant flask it back and not lose my character, then like that's way better. So fortunately, energy shield has an incredible ceiling, and if you get the right items, you don't really have to worry about it. Um, with this build, I'm going to see if I can get my hands on an Aegis Aurora. That's a very expensive item, so I don't know if I will be able to get it. Um... 
I don't want to listen to this song. Or this song. Or this song. Come on. No, not this song. This is a good song. Um, but let's sing something. Be punch and shit. Yeah, there's nothing about this build. Everything explodes, which is really satisfying. So, yeah, that's, I'm trying to think what the mods are. Um, reflect, curse with elemental weakness, um, increased movement speed of boss. I mean, it might be extra damage as an element, but I don't really know because I'm not like, I can't just like parse that information. Um, I don't have any kind of data gathering information like or system like that. All right, so this is a strong box. So this is why quartz flask is good. So I pop my quartz flask and I touch it, and now I can just attack all the monsters and I don't have to worry about getting anything getting in the way. There was absolutely zero desync because nothing was getting in the way of me hitting stuff. That's why quartz flasks are just too good. Um, I I. I thought Quartz Flask were really dumb. I was like, why would you ever use a Quartz Flask? Like Jade Flask or Armor Flask or Flash Flask? They're all so good. But man, Quartz Flask is just so bananas. It's so good. Uh, I, I love it. There's the unique Quartz Flask, which I found. And it's terrible. And I would never use it because it, it, has, it has extra charges consumed and it heals you. But then you take Chaos Damage. Um, so, like... So it's like kind of good because you get like your HP back, but it uses extra charges. So as a quartz flask, it doesn't really do its job very well because it's like it uses 60 charges to heal you, which is not the point of quartz flask. Quartz flask is to like get you in or out of a situation. So. Let's move down here. Clear speed's not as fast as some other builds. Um, I will admit that. Look at this, look at this quartz flask! Yee, I can just run through all the enemies. I'm taking a lot of damage though. I probably shouldn't have wasted my quartz flask. Uh, die. Oh right, reflect. That's not gonna heal me. No, no, get away. Sorry, I guess. Ugh. Alright, oh shit. This is elemental reflect. And I desynced. I'm actually over here. Now that's why I have the desync macro, because that shit is annoying and crazy. So it's really nice when you don't have to deal with like the super desync. Oh, I'm gonna get out of here. Peace. Also, you can tell how it's phys it is physical reflect on the map, and I know it's physical reflect because when my molten shell popped, I didn't take any damage. Um, and if I pop like a granite flask, I don't take any damage from reflect either, because I reduce the reflected damage. So these are all good things. Yay, quartz flask. Yeah, I don't know. Also, if you're running through enemies, I find a lot of the times when you activate the quartz flask, <sighs> elemental damage. Uh... Oh, I clicked off screen. All right, cool. All right, map's basically done. Uh, there's a couple monsters I could clean up, but I'm not going to. So, you. So thank you all for watching. That was me doing a crypt map with, I'll just go back in to show it off again, with unidentified um, things. So as far as I can tell, it was uh, monsters reflect, um, increased boss damage, I was cursed with elemental weakness, and uh, there had to been something else, maybe increased pack size potentially. Um, it might have had extra damage added, so like either extra damage or monsters move faster or something that I just didn't see. So I don't know. Other than that, I think I think that was fine. It might have even had chaos damage, like a monster enemy poison, but I don't know. Anyway, so that's this build. It's really good. It's immune to all map mods except for blood magic. So I can do any random map as long as I don't have blood magic on it, which has happened. I just walk in blood magic. I'm like, oh damn, and then I leave. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next video. Peace.